So then my friends, before we start coding anything whatsoever, I think it's always a good idea to go over some kind of plan. A bird's eye view, if you like, of all the different moving parts in the application, the structure of the application, so that when we're coding we have a direction and we're not just aimlessly coding different components. So to begin with, we'll be using the package create react app to create a blank react application. Then we'll be having our app component sitting at the top. This will be the root component of the application and nested inside that is going to be a nav bar and that's going to be showing on every single route. Inside the nav we're going to have a component which is going to show the signed in links. So when a user is signed in they'll see these links and we're also going to have a different component for when a user is signed out. So we'll conditionally show one or the other inside the nav dependent on the authentication status of the user. So this is always going to show, right, this navigation and this root component. Now, what about the different URLs? Well, it's going to look something like this. When a user goes to forward slash dashboard or just forward slash, we're going to load in a dashboard component. When they go to forward slash project, forward slash ID, which is a route parameter, then they're going to see the project details of that project. To create a new project, they'll go to forward slash create and we'll get this create project component, which will be a form for the user to create that project. If a user wants to sign in, then they'll go to forward slash sign in and we'll see that signing form. And likewise for sign up, we'll go to forward slash sign up. Now we don't need a component for log out or sign out because all that is is one simple Ajax request to the Firebase server. We don't need a separate page to sign out. Now then, nested inside this dashboard over here, we're gonna have a couple of different components as well. First of all, we'll have a component which is gonna be responsible for listing out all the different projects on the left-hand side. And that will be called project list. And then we'll have a different component which is gonna be responsible for showing the notification panel on the right. And that is called notifications. So what I'm gonna be doing is referring back to this diagram as we go through the course, so we know exactly where we're heading and where we're up to, okay? Now, the whole thing from a bird's eye perspective is gonna look like this. We've got our client, the browser on the left, and the server, Firebase, on the right. Now, we're gonna create our React app using Redux as well, which is gonna run inside the client. All that code is gonna run in the client. Then, we're gonna store our data in the Firestore, which is a real-time database provided by Firebase and that is on the server. Then we'll be using Firebase's authentication service to authenticate our users inside the app. And then finally, we'll be using cloud functions on Firebase, which is code that is gonna execute on the server as well. That is code that we don't necessarily want to run or be visible in the browser, in the client, but we want to run it on the server and protect that code. So this is the server side stuff over here, and this is the client side stuff over here. So that's it, that's all there is to it. I just wanted to give you this brief overview of where we're heading so we've got that picture in our minds when we start to create the project.